Hello, welcome to RPM News Weekly, a roundup of important automotive news that goes behind the headlines. I'm your host, Rich Tabor. Imagine a vehicle that launches from zero to 60 miles per hour in just over two seconds on its way to an electronically limited top speed of just over 186 miles per hour. Well, imagination has become reality at this year's Geneva International Motor Show, where NanoFlow Cell Holdings celebrated the world premiere of the first low voltage sports cars powered by flow cell energy, notably the Quant 48 volt 2 plus 2 sports sedan prototype. But what's even more remarkable about the Quant 48 volt than its speed, according to Nunzio Lavecchia, Nano Flow Cell's chief technology officer, is that its electric drive is consistently maintained at a low voltage, making it the world's safest electric sports car from an electrical perspective. A research and development company, Nano Flow Cell Holdings describes itself as, quote, a pioneer and shaper of future thinking and mobility, and as a mentor for energy that is environmentally compatible and can be sustainably structured. While other electric vehicle systems operate at dangerously high voltages, the flow cell technology in the Quant 48 volt can not only perform at the kilowatt output levels needed for high performance and offer an anxiety-free driving range that's anticipated to be over 600 miles, but do so with a safe maximum battery voltage of 48 volts. One of the most important benefits of low voltage is that there's no risk of electric shock to road users or first responders in the event of an accident. Plus, the bi-ion electrolyte liquid used in the nano flow cell isn't flammable, explosive, or harmful to the environment, according to the company. Nano flow cell promotes the technology as the safest, most powerful, environmentally compatible, and economical drive system for electric vehicles currently available that could be built in series production. As it stands, the four 140 kilowatt low voltage motors in the Quant 48 volt make it the most powerful all-wheel drive low voltage electric sports car, not only at the Geneva Motor Show, but anywhere on the globe. Meanwhile, Volvo has revealed new 40 series concepts built around the automaker's new compact modular architecture. With plans to expand into the global market for premium small cars, the company is developing a range of vehicles that combine compelling exterior and interior design with leading edge connectivity, electrification, and autonomous drive technologies. Here's Thomas Ingeloth, Senior Vice President of Design at Volvo, to explain more. We want to definitely to broaden the scope of what people could imagine the brand Volvo stands for. We bring something on the table which might be unexpected. The other thing is, of course, we want to have a CMA that enables us to build high cars and low cars. So this flexibility was a big, big part of that architecture. CMA clearly marks as well a time when we are shifting into a new era. The hybrid drivetrain and the full electric drivetrain both fit into one car and that has to have a reflection in design. There has to be a family feel and flair around it. So in our family of 90, 60 and 40 cars, yes, you experience as well a big, big range of different characters and that expresses in its design. Now if I go and ask our customer about certain needs and certain behaviors and we have to make the conclusion what is the right thing for the future. Younger people expecting something which you know, reflects their lifestyle, which is fresher and a bit more contemporary. So I think that is where, you know, the Volvo thinking comes in. This meaningful and really determined, considerate way of looking into each element of design. With the 40 cluster, there are more edgy statements in the design. There is a more expressive expression. Hey, here I am. You know, world, what do you have to give me? This kind of like provocative element in it.
We go back to Geneva for our final story this week, where Hyundai unveiled its FE fuel cell concept, a futuristic look ahead to the next generation of hydrogen-powered vehicles. Employing a minimalist approach to the vehicle styling, Hyundai sought to emphasize the non-polluting nature of the FE fuel cell concept. Wung Chul Yang, vice chairman of Hyundai Motor Company, described the FE fuel cell concept as an important evolution of the company's pioneering hydrogen leadership that, quote, moves us closer to our vision for a hydrogen society where transportation is clean, efficient, and enhances the lives of our customers. The concept vehicle is part of the company's eco-vehicle program that will see 14 or more new environmentally focused models introduced by 2020. The letters FE in the name stands for Future Eco. Designed to run for about 500 miles between refueling, the FE fuel cell concept represents an increase of 30% in the power density of the fuel cell stack over the current generation Tucson iX35 fuel cell. For added convenience, the FE concept features portable battery packs to power passenger devices, as well as an integrated storage and charging space in the trunk for an electric scooter. Tune in next week when RPM News Weekly travels to New England Motor Press headquarters in Middleborough, Massachusetts for a special report on the all-new 2017 Kia Nero. I'm your host, Rich Tabor. Thank you for watching.